So let's have a quick look at the 3D scanner, the CR Ferret by Creality. And um, we're, we're going to do some scanning of assets. Now it is a fairly small unit that only works with Android phones and also laptops. So when we go out for a walk a little bit later, you'll see that I'm scanning it off my laptop. And apparently end of June, start of July, it'll be on iOS. So off I went for a bit of a walk to try and find some assets. Now what I was trying to find is something unique and something interesting. I have a vision of what I want a shot to look like. Now for those of you who are curious, this is what a wombat hole looks like. Now this one has collapsed and you know, hasn't been used, but uh, there you go, they're, they're pretty big. Now it was this point here where I came across this little rocky outcrop on the path. Now, the best thing about it was that it was in shade. And so I got the laptop out and started scanning away. Now, the really cool thing about this is that as you start scanning, it'll obviously start red and it's got limited data. But as you go over the same spot, then it becomes green, which is signifying, hey, it's got some good data. Now, here in this clip, I was using high poly mesh, where later on, we use the fast mode and oh my goodness, it is completely different in a, in a, in a good way. So once I finish doing my 3d scan, it's just one or two clicks to start the auto processing process off. And then from there we have a 3d mesh textured as well. Now, another cool feature is that within 30 seconds of doing a scan, I can actually see what the scan looks like and how it's going to turn out. Now that's actually a pretty big benefit because then I don't have to keep going out to the same spot to redo photos and such. So talking with a friend of mine, we decided to go on a bit of a road trip out to a location that he saw once upon a time driving past. Uh, it took us a little bit to hunt this place down. However, as soon as we crossed the road to this place, you could see that there was just this weird outcrop when we get out of the gutter. But look at this like what the heck is this now my mind already started thinking about how we can utilize what this scenario is there is a and so i started thinking maybe like a spaceship flying through these canyons independence day from those of you who remember back in 1994 i think it was but the textures here and the the weird geometry we could probably utilize this and create some sort of alien sci-fi scene so this made life a lot easier with the two of us scanning these assets. I was able to hold the computer whilst he was able to move the scanner around and scanning into the rock, all those nooks and crannies. Now, one thing that we did work out what utilized the scanner best is to go vertically one way and then change 90 degrees and scan the other way. That allows for the sensor to spread out as much data as possible. So I grabbed our last six scans and you can kind of see the mesh isn't that dense. It's very much based off a of point cloud. And so the mesh is somewhat actually really surprisingly clean. But if we jump over into rendered mode, we can see that yes, these are looking pretty good as well. Here we really started to learn how to use the scanner and we, we, we got some pretty good results. So here we are focusing up on this section. Even here we're getting all these little rocks and cracks. Uh, this one was on the side of the road. Obviously, we missed a little bit. But having that green and red screen made life so much easier. So working off the laptop, definitely a second person helped as we were scanning. But if you want to see what we can do with these assets, hit the subscribe button and we'll do that in another video.